Okay, let's fix the forehand volley. Mainly, a very common mistake is because on forehand, we don't have anything that, you know, is a reference to stop the racket, it's very common to go, boom, bigger. What I meant by this is, on backhand, you have the body on the way. So let's say that if you do this, it happens also. But, you know, it's easy to notice that you are way too far back. Yeah, so the kind of like, you can always say, hey, racket, closer to the shoulder. Okay, you have a reference. But on forehand, you don't. You don't have a reference. So what I want you to understand with that is for those players that go here, be careful. Because if we were doing a game where I toss you the ball and you catch it, I still haven't met anyone that goes, yeah, sure, and I catch it here. There's no way. Even a kid that doesn't play paddle. If I just play the game with the kid, he does this. Yeah? The brain is smart enough to understand that if you're going to catch, you're going to wait for the ball. You're going to aim for the ball with your hand. Bam. So, as you can see, what is a good reference? My elbow shouldn't separate from my arm. Not that I want it like this. Mm -hmm. But just keep your ready position, your hammer motion, which is this one. And then, remember, move the core. But when you move the core, make sure you don't go here because then you're going to be late, guys. Instead, here. Yeah, so it's this. So, for example, Rika is going to show us with the catching first how my racket, as you, see, as you look at from the side, it needs to be there. And then from there, I will step if I have time. Instead of, yeah, you told me to turn the core. Yeah, but the racket is way too far, guys. Yeah, so then you're going to feel like you're not in control. So remember, here, boom, bam. Yeah, that's why this hand, I like it here, guys. Not here. Yeah, not there. Uh -huh. Okay, what are we, dancers? What are we, stars? Hollywood stars? No. Keep it. Boom. So let's see how Rika catches. Exactly, that's correct, yeah? So go, bam. There, exactly. Elbow close. Yes. Again. There you go. Okay. Nice. 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 With this technique, you're not going to be late. You're going to hit beautifully. For those that wonder, and this is a bonus. Yeah, but I don't have power. You have plenty of power. Also because, guys, as you play better players, you don't have time. You're going to have less time. But the bonus is that if you want to slice or backspin on your ball, which is a good thing because two things happen when you hit the ball with the slice, is that the ball bounces and takes off, boom! Or even better, when the ball reaches the glass, it drops instead of bouncing up when you hit flat. Yeah? So what is the bonus about? The bonus is, hopefully, you don't get the slice by doing this or this. You will get the slice, but it's ugly. It's not effective. It's not consistent. So to get a slice, remember, you were doing the core. Okay. A more advanced player will do the same, but higher. With which call it the hammer motion. You go higher, not longer. You go higher and you find the ball on your way down. So then you are keeping the angle of the racket. And that angle, because you are hitting from high to low, is peeling the ball. And because you peel the ball, the ball has a slice. And consequently, it's a better ball. So let's see if Rika can manage. The hoo. Mickey Mouse. Nice. Mickey Mouse. There. Mickey Mouse here. Ears. Nice. Mickey Mouse ears. Nice. Up. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. There. Nice. Good body posture. There. Oh. Ah, yes. 